Good day, viewers. My name is Darlington Okoka, and I welcome you to Delwick Electrical YouTube channel. Today, we shall be discussing on how to connect inverter batteries in series. In our previous class, we were able to talk about how to connect inverter batteries in series in parallel, where we saw that batteries two, three, four, five connected in parallel have the same equal output voltage. That means their voltages are constant. But <clears throat> today, we are going to show you how to connect your batteries in series, and you see that voltages of batteries connected in series are additive so if you have two batteries that are connected in series and they are 12 volts each the output voltage will be what 24 volts if there are three batteries the output voltage will also be 36 volts because it is additive unlike when we did the parallel connection so why is this connection very important you know our inverters that we buy they have stable or fixed voltage you want to go to the market to buy an inverter it's either it's going to be 12 volts it's going to be 24 volts, it's going to be 48 volts, it's going to be 96 volts. But we don't have batteries that are weighted in those voltages. So if you want a 24 volt inverter, that means you need two batteries that you connect in series to get your 24 volts. If you don't connect it that way, your inverter will not pick. So because we want to ensure that we get the required voltage of the inverter with, to, to balance with the voltage of the battery, that is why we need to connect batteries in series so today we're going to simulate it with our system and we'll see how batteries are connected in series afterwards we'll go to the laboratory and we'll connect the batteries practically in series and we'll now be able to compare and see that <clears throat> when batteries are connected in series it's going to give us you know, on the system it's going to give us a, a particular value and when it's connected in series in the lab with, physically with live batteries it's also going to give us the same value so let's go to our system and see how we're going to simulate the battery right. we're now on our system and this is live wire software we're going to use this live wire to simulate the battery connection so first of all we take our battery this is the power supply we take battery so this battery is rated 9 volts so we have to change it to 12 volts so let's try with four batteries because most times you are going to be getting 48 volt inverter system so let's take four batteries you take the next one you connect this is 12 volts change it to 12 volts take your battery three this is battery three you change the voltage to 12 volts and this is battery four the voltage natural voltage is nine volts so we have to change it what to 12 volts all right so you see how these four batteries are here so we are going to take our wire we'll take from here we'll connect to battery one to battery two so what we are doing in let's delete this let's explain what series is series connection simply means that the positive of battery one will be connected to the negative of battery two negative of battery two is connected to negative of battery three negative of battery three is connected to positive of battery four so in this case now positive to negative this will not work this way so we have to inverse all our circuits we have to inverse the battery so when we inverse this battery we take it this way so that there will be space you take this one you reverse it you take it this way this battery so you have to place it the way the connection will be easy for you you reverse it then take this one and reverse it so you, you can now see that it's easier to connect it so this is the positive terminal of the battery this is the negative terminal this is the positive this is negative this is positive negative this is positive negative so what we are going to do for a series connection the negative terminal will be connected to the positive terminal the negative terminal will be connected to the positive terminal. The negative terminal will be connected to the positive terminal. While the output will now go to the inverter. So let's connect from neg negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive. So the batches have now been connected. So we now have an output wire. This is the output. This output is negative. This output is positive. So these two wires now are supposed to go to your inverter. But because we're not taking it to an inverter, let's put a voltmeter here to measure this voltage and see what value we get. So you go to your measuring equipment, you take your voltmeter and bring it here. 
So this is the positive side of voting meter. This is negative side. Ensure you connect the terminals accordingly. So you reverse this and make sure that um, this goes here. Yeah, make sure this also goes here. So you want to know what voltage will come here after you have connected this batteries and say so what you have to do is to run it so when you click run you see that you are getting 48 volts here this is to show you that when batteries are connected in series the entire voltage across individual battery is additive so this is just a simulation we're going back to the laboratory and let's carry out the practical example physically with live battery and let us also see if we are going to get 48 volts. So this is for four batteries. In the laboratory, we are going to also do for two batteries. So if I do it for two batteries, you will discover that it is going to be 12 plus 12, which will be 24 volts. So we did 48 volts in the simulation, and we're going to do 24 volts in the laboratory. Hope to see you in the lab. So come with me. All right, so welcome to the practical section of this series, how to connect your batteries in series. In this practical sections, we have a brand new tubular battery. This battery was essentially bought for this particular class. We've used it in the parallel class. You can see it when we opened the carton in the parallel class. If you've not watched the parallel class, you can just check it out where we opened the battery. So we try as much as possible to purchase these items to ensure that our practical class is well equipped to make sure that you benefit actively from this section. So please, if you've not subscribed to our channel, the only thing you have to do for us is to subscribe and also share to your friends so that they will come and benefit from what you are also benefiting from. So in this particular class, we're going to show you how these batteries are going to be connected in parallel. The same methodology happens if you are connecting 3, 4, 5, 20, 30, 40 batteries in series. So this is our clamp meter. We're going to be acting as a voltmeter. We're taking it down to the DC portion of it. So this is the DC, the, the knob is in the DC. So whenever we're measuring, we're going to be measuring the DC voltage. Then we have the probes or jumper as it is normally called. This is red in color and is usually used to connect the positive terminals of the battery. This is also a jumper too, is black and we use it to connect the negative part of the battery or we can use it for looping. So we'll start um, our connection, but before we start, we would like to show you the terminal and these are your spanners starting spanners is usually used to connect our battery most of these um, um nodes that you see bolts that you see are usually 13 volts so we use our 13 spanners for them so you can see the terminal this is positive this is negative this is positive this is negative for those of you that watch the practical class you see that will turn the battery so that negative and negative will be together positive and positive will be together but because we are connecting in series we've reversed the battery this is positive this is negative this is negative this is positive so when you are connecting your batteries in series positive is connected to negative negative is connected to positive so that is how we connect our batteries in series. So before we start, let us check the battery voltages of individual. There are two batteries here. Let's check the battery voltages and what it is. And when we combine them in series, what voltage is we are going to get. So now we're going to put on our clamp, our voltmeter, by putting it in our DC position, and we'll measure. This is positive terminal, and this is negative terminal. So you can see we are getting 12 volts. We we'll measure this one too. The second battery. You can see that we are getting 12 volts, 11, 12 volts. So now let's connect the batteries in series and see what we are going to get. Now we are going to use this. Post. This is the negative terminal of this battery. So we we'll connect it. We we'll use the washers to hold it. The spring washer and the flat washer then we use your boot and your nut to knot it properly then normally we use our spanner both both spanners is maybe flat and this to use the spanner to tie it properly to ensure that it locks so this other terminal we use it to jump jump out the positive terminal of the battery so this is the negative terminal of the battery this is the positive terminal we take it here 
then we use the spring washer and we use the normal washer and then we use the nuts to hold it properly so by the time you are doing this you've um, actually connected those two terminals together so use your spanner now to tie it to ensure that uh, is properly tied all right you can see that this is tied so we're still going to do the same thing here but this is the negative terminal this is the positive terminal this positive terminal will be connected to your inverter this negative side will be connected to your inverter but because we're not using an inverter now we're just going to connect the cable and test to see if we're going to get the full volt so this is the negative terminal you do the same thing that you've done there and this is the this is the positive terminal too would also do the same thing by bolting by knotting them together this is the negative terminal of the battery and this is the positive terminal of the battery so this one is supposed to go to the inverter this as the positive side this is supposed to go to the inverter as the negative side but because we just want to test what voltage we are getting out of the battery we use a voltmeter to measure to see what voltage but you must be very careful let these two terminals not touch themselves because it's going to spark and be very disastrous. So this is our clamp meter now. We put it here and we'll measure. Make sure you use the positive probe for the positive side of the battery and you use the negative probe for the negative probe of the battery. So by the time we measure, you can see that we are getting 24 volt. That means when you connect batteries in series, the voltages are additive. So it has added the, the 12 volt of battery one to the 12 volt of battery two to get 24 volt. So when we connect this terminal directly to our inverter, we are supplying 24 volt to the inverter. All right, you can see that in the lab we are able to see how two batteries were connected in series, and the output voltage was 24 volt. I also saw in the simulation that we did four batteries were also connected in series, and the output voltage was 48 volts so irrespective of the number of batteries in as much as you have connected them in series the entire voltages would will be additive so it's not only that instances too whereby you want larger storage for example you want eight batteries and there are 48 volt inverter system so what you're going to do you connect four batteries in series that four batteries in series is 48 volts then you connect another four set of batteries in series, 48 volts. Then the output of those batteries, you connect them in parallel so that you are still going to maintain 48 volts. We'll try to do another video on how to connect batteries both in series and in parallel so that you'll be able to see the resultant output. So I believe this video has been very useful to you. If it is, kindly click the like and subscribe button so as to get notified when subsequent videos of this nature are being published. Thank you very much and see you in our next video.